Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can host a React site on Hostinger, what React is and several other details regarding to this topic. I am using a official Hostinger tutorial on the official Hostinger tutorial site. This is made by users or these articles are made by users and most of the time they are very well made. So make sure to check this tutorial out if you have any further questions or if you just want to check out any other tutorial, if you have any other questions, make sure to come to this site and check them out. Now, React is basically a JavaScript library and one of the most popular and one of the most widespread JavaScript libraries in the industry right now. And it is most popular for developing mobile and web applications. It is developed by Meta and it uh, pretty much makes everything easy as far as I'm aware. Uh, now, to uh, host the um, site, what you need to do is, let's just scroll down on this topic. There are uh, several other things here that you can check out. Uh, but yeah, you need to check Node.js and NPM installation first. If you want to create a React app, then you need to create the actual app navigate to your project directory and start the development server. Then you need to explore the project structure and so on and so forth. Uh, that is pretty much uh, how you just build a site. However, to deploy, you need to ensure that your React app is production ready by creating a production build by running this command, which is npm run build, and then log into your hosting or uh, service using SSH, open the terminal and type in the command below, which is this command right here then you need to make sure that your VPS is up to date by executing these commands. And once you're done, upload the contents of your build directory to your VPS, replace the path uh, to your app with the local path to your build directory and your username at your server and so on and so forth. And just enter this uh, command. And once, of course, replace it here and install Node.js uh, so that you can actually do all of this, uh, then enter these commands then create an nginx a configuration file for your app and ensure to replace your app with a unique uh, and descriptive name here and uh, add the following configuration replacing your, uh, your ip with your domain name or ip address in your port with the port your app is running on then save and close the file then create a symbolic link to enable the configuration test the configuration and if there are no errors just restart nginx and that is pretty much all you have to do Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.